Well, all you guys on the phone are going to miss some good looking cake. <laughs> well, but they're not going to miss uh, the roast. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you starting that one? We're going to start. Oh, he's got a book. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, anybody who um, has ever worked for the Boston Company or Mellon or Bank of New York Mellon has. Uh, been yelled at by Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't been yelled at by Tom, then you haven't accomplished anything in this company. I mean, you have managed to very quietly sit in a corner in a cube and not put it ever anything into production. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting there collecting a paycheck, really. That's all you're doing. But just to give you an idea of how old he is, <laughs> his first iPad was a stone tablet. <laughs> <laughs> the first program he wrote, he wrote it in uh, punch cards, made of papyrus. <laughs> right? That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uh, IBM System 370 reference card. Oh my says System 370 BC for before Christ. <laughs> One of his first jobs too was at Wang Computer, and uh, and he was during during the early Ming Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. Before the Wang. Tom was the president of the Nerds, the Northeast Rock and Bird Society. <laughs> <laughs> and Ken Partridge was one of those uh, members. So somehow he talked me as Ken Partridge into going first. <laughs> <laughs> I still, to this day, don't know how he did that. <laughs> I, of course, went over the handlebars, did a face plant, and the bank landed on top of me. I had a very vivid memory of picking myself off, wiping away the blood, and looking back up the hill. Tom was laughing <laughs> <laughs> while he asked me if I was all right. <laughs> the bike. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's a, and that's the complexity of the guy. He is both a good guy because he really did care whether I was hurt or not, but he also enjoyed the laugh at my expense. <laughs> <laughs> I went down the other way that day. <laughs> <laughs> what I did is I tied the, uh, the stuffed dog. It was this uh, white dog. And I tied it to the rear bumper of his car. <laughs> 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 I have a picture of it. <laughs> and then, of course, I told everybody that we were doing this. So, so when he left uh, at the end of the day, and this took a while. Somehow he wasn't getting around to leaving. And uh, so we're all waiting by the front windows out here. And there comes Tom going down some chilly highway. Dragging the dog. Having the car and looking at me all the way home. <laughs> I thought sure you were going to tell about the time that you guys stuck the rocks really in my backpack right. when we were mountain biking and it didn't tell me until the end of the ride. <laughs> uh, all these rocks. Well, I, I was lucky enough to, to get Tom's office when we all moved over here. And I'll tell you, it took weeks for people to come visit me because they thought Tom was still <laughs> here. <laughs> and, and whenever there's an IEF problem, even today, People come in my office first and say, will you talk to Tom? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have to say, you have mellowed, or, or I have gotten a little bit more firmer. I don't know. <laughs> 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 no, you're mellowing. You're mellowing. He was like in his 70s. All right, then maybe I'll share one more anecdote right here. And that was, he kind of lost his confidence a little bit instead of riding over it. He just like stopped in the middle and then he put his foot down into nothing. <laughs> it was totally like, you know, two feet wide, you know. And so he went over and he dropped ten feet onto his back into an inch of ice at the bottom of this thing. And so he cracked through 
And I didn't actually see him go over, but I get over there and I see his bike overturned and there's no time. <laughs> and, and then I hear some splash and it's like, oh my god, <laughs> he's dead. So we run over and, uh, and I look at him like crushing through the ice because he's like an icebreaker down there. He's like <laughs> trying to break his way through the sheet of ice. You know, then he gets out of there and miraculously he is unhurt. There was not a single bone broken in his body. And um, so that was very amazing. And then uh, I had a camera and then I started taking pictures. Shocking. It's really friendly or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but uh, a friend of mine who was a photographer said, wait a minute, you didn't grab for the camera immediately? He's like, no, 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 I went to help him. But you're not a real photographer. A real photographer doesn't care about the camera. He takes the picture. Yeah, they did pull me out first. Well, thank you so much, I think. <laughs>